our first pick that you can pick up at your local Walmart is something that we didn't get when we first purchased our RV and we really wish that we would have. And that is one of these patio mats. Now these patio mats go outside of your RV. This is super helpful, especially if you have kids, family, to keep from tracking dirt and grass and all of those things inside of your RV or camper that you don't want there. So having one of these patio mats to put outside of your camper is definitely one of our top picks. Our next pick is something that you absolutely must have if you are RVing and you're hooking up to any water anywhere. And that is one of these water pressure regulators. These are super important so that you don't have excess pressure on the water lines of your RV. This can possibly save you from having a flooded RV interior. So we always carry one of these with us and we always use it if the water pressure at the campground that we're staying at is too high. Our next pick is holding tank treatment. Now, you don't want your whole RV to smell like a sewer, and so you absolutely need to pick up some chemicals that go into the black tank of your RV. Some of these types of chemicals that come in tablet form work fine. There's also liquid holding tank treatment that you can get as well if you would prefer in a liquid form. We personally use this type of holding tank treatment where it comes in a packet similar to like a laundry detergent tab or a dishwasher tab in these types of packets. And we have found that these work great for keeping the odor down and also helping the toilet paper or any solids in the black tank to dissolve rapidly. So with any of your tank treatment, you just drop it directly into the toilet in your RV. So if you're using this or a liquid, it goes directly into the toilet and you want to make sure that you freshen that up in between the times that you dump the tank. So our next pick is a drinking water hose. You absolutely do not want to use the same hose that you use to flush your black tank to put drinking water into your RV. So you need to have a separate hose strictly for drinking water that you carry on your rig. Now, there's several different lengths that you can get. And so depending upon where you like to camp, we do recommend going with a longer length so that if you need to stretch between the water hookups in your RV, you've got the extra hose length to do that. Or you can purchase two hoses and connect them if you need to. Another one of our absolute top picks is one of these dual hose connectors. Now, let me tell you why that this is absolutely a must have for us now. We have done a lot of camping in beachy areas, which means a lot of sand. So we can hook this up to the water hookup and have our fresh water hose on one side and then a hose on the other side to be able to rinse off people, feet, boogie boards, anything that we've been using out on the beach before we put it back into the RV. So this is a great, useful thing to have with you so that you can run two hoses, one to your RV for your fresh water and one to just have for whatever you need. Another absolute must have, obviously, is your RV sewer hose. Now, a couple of things with the sewer hose. You may have gotten one when you purchased your RV and if you did, that's great. However, we have found having two sewer hoses is very helpful. We've run into several situations where the actual sewer dump connection is significantly far away from our RV and our actual primary sewer hose didn't reach. So having a second hose that you can connect the two together is great for those situations where you find yourself needing that extra length. This particular Rhino Flex by Camco is the only one that we will use. The sewer hose is very flexible. You can put it together or pull it apart. So it makes for very compact storage in your compartments as well. Another one of our top picks and an absolute must have is your sewer hose support. Now, as you all know, the saying goes, a certain thing flows downhill. Turn it on! And so you want to make sure that everything is flowing downhill. So this is going to help with that by supporting the sewer hose and making sure that you have that downward angle on your sewer hose and you don't have anything backing up.
another one of our top picks and things that we use to organize the inside of RV are just different size bins. These bins work great to put in overhead compartments underneath of cabinets to keep things like food or jars from rolling around as you're driving down the road. I always like to think of when you fly, the whole contents may have shifted during flight, which definitely happens when you're going down the road. So these types of bins in cupboards will definitely help to keep things organized and in place. Our last top pick of things that you need for your RV or camper that you can pick up at your local Walmart is something that you can never have too many of, and that is command hooks. We use these all over our RV, from things to hang towels on, to clothes, to hats, to anything that you just might want to hang on the walls. And if you make use of your wall space, you will just feel like you have more space. So I keep a very large pack of these in the RV at all times, and we use these like crazy. Thank you so much for watching our video about our top picks of things that you can pick up at your local Walmart for your RV or camper. We hope you enjoyed this video. Drop us a comment. Let us know what are your top picks of things that you can't live without in your RV or camper. Make sure you hit the subscribe and give us a thumbs up.